again, so today I'm doing a video called What's Actually In My Bag and I was tagged by the lovely Helen Anderson. Now, I've done a What's In My Bag video before, one or two years ago, I think, so this is an honest version of that because I'm gonna share a YouTube secret that most people that do What's In My Bag videos, they have tampered with their bag. They've taken all the receipts, all the snotty tissues, or the chewing gum wrapped in foils, they've taken it out, or they have put stuff in specifically to show you like their new makeup or their brand new perfume that they definitely probably don't actually carry around with them all day. So I'm gonna show you what's actually in my bag and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to start with my bag. This bag is actually from River Island um, and it's very, very nice. I love it very much. It does the good job of being a bag. So the first thing in here, I'm gonna do a lucky dip. Um, <laughs> okay, this is actually in half-eaten dairy milk Oreo bar. Um, I've eaten like, I don't know, two chunks of it. It's probably been floating in the bottom of my bag for two weeks. The next thing in my bag is my rail card holder. This is actually from Paper Chase. It's got like the London tube map on it, which I think is really cool. Um, and I have my Oyster card in there. And then I have my 16 to 25 rail card here, which gets me discount on like train fares because going to London is quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I have my rail cards and train things in a flappy wallet. Next, I have got my Tangle Tees. And yes, that is a lot of my hair that's stuck in it because hair comes out, especially mine, it's quite damaged. But I have to brush my hair a lot because I end up looking like a big poofy, knotty poodle if I don't. So I carry around my little tangle teaser and it's also really light so it doesn't really make much of a difference having it in my bag or not. The next thing in my bag is two things, uh, but it's a receipt and this is for, this is from Boots and it's for, um, la, 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 what is it for? This is for my Real Technique bold, Real Techniques. Real Techniques Bold Metal Brushes, which I bought, which I treated myself to. Um, so yeah, I've kept the receipt because I've lost my Boots Points card, which not, doesn't make me happy. Um, okay, next in here is a hand sanitizer. Um, I think I mentioned a while ago that I love carrying hand sanitizers around because I hate germs and I hate holding things that hundreds of people have touched. So yeah, I always carry a hand sanitizer and this is Sweet Tangerine from Bath and Body Works, which I got from America. I do enjoy that very much. The next thing in my bag is, woo, dropping things. Um, now I actually have two of these. Um, these are uh, Disney Sum Sum collector's cards. Um, if you don't know what Sum Sum is, um, oh my God, it's taken over my life. But um, they're these little plushy things, um, which you can get all different characters of. And when you buy one, you get stamps um, and you get a little reward after 25 and after 50 stamps. But I actually have two, because um, I have an addiction. Okay, next in here. Oh, okay, I have a USB stick, doo -doo -doo -doo, which actually isn't mine. Uh, Laura Bubble, if you're watching. I have your USB stick, um, and this actually has a presentation on it, because uh, I went to do a talk the other day, and I, I did a PowerPoint slide, because that's how cool and retro I am. In here I have a Nivea Hydro Care Lip Balm. Um, I have this because when I travel, I am always, always want a lip balm, because my lips can get really dry, and I haven't got the smallest lips in the world, so I always carry something that makes them feel nice and soft after moisturised. Um, next in my bag I have my keys. Um, as you can see I'm a little bit of a keyring hoarder. Um, <laughs> yeah so I have a Mickey Mouse keyring which I got from America from Disney World. Really want to go back. I have a Pasha cherries thing from when I went to Ibiza with my friend Chris. I have my house key. I have a Jack Daniels whiskey keyring because I like Jack Daniels, or I did when I used to drink. Um, and I have this little Zelda bottle opener. I'm making myself sound like an alcoholic. I'm not. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really cool. I got given this and it says, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. But um, it's always good to have bottle openers. Um, I have this little thing from Minecraft, which is one of the little skeletons, which he, he keeps me company. And last but not least, I have this little thing from Egypt and they're little scarab bug things, I think. And those are my keys, and they're all held together by this little climbing thing. Um, and I like having a lot of keyrings because it saves me losing them. 
Next, at the bottom of my bag, I have got this little hair tie, um, which is actually quite a new thing to me. I heard that these special hair ties, that's not gonna do anything, is it? Why am I doing that? Um, <laughs> this is a hair tie which supposedly doesn't give you that annoying hair bump when you've had your hair up for ages, and they're like flat, little elastic things. Um, I think they're good and they really don't hurt your hair which is a plus. Um, next in here, yep, I've got a tampon because there is nothing worse than never having a tampon if you need one and they always come in useful. Or if your friend is desperate for a tampon, you can be that good friend that's like, hey, I saved the day for you here, I have got something to plug you up. Yep, just said that. Next is a pencil but it's not a pencil. It's a pen! It's a pen that looks like a pencil, um, and it's actually one of my favourite pens because it looks like a pencil. Um, it's just a biro, but yeah, I always keep a pen in my bag because you always need a pen when you don't have a pen, and it's the most annoying thing. It's like, I have a million pens at home, why haven't I bought one with me? Next in the big bit, which is now empty, is actually a perfume bottle, which is quite a small, half-empty one, nearly. Well, it looks kind of full, but it's about a third used. Uh, and it's a Zoella Blissful Mistful. I love this smell, and I'm not like, purposely whoring her out. I just generally really like this smell and I really like the body cream she does as well. Um, so last in my bag, uh, we've come to the end, I told you I don't actually have that much crap, is my purse, um, which is a really old tatty purse and I need to get a new one. This purse is just really old and I actually got it from New Look and it has a Baymax sticker on the other side because um, the Disney store were like, would you like a Baymax sticker? And I was like, yes. Yes, I would. So, uh, what's in my purse? I have a receipt for uh, WH Smith's for £7.94. It doesn't say what I bought, probably food, not gonna lie. Um, in my coin purse bit, there is, um, now I carry this around with me, actually, and it's a rose quartz crystal. Um, I really, really like crystals. I collect them and they all have different healing properties and spiritual meanings. Yes, I'm one of those people that believes in that stuff. So I carry a rose quartz, which um, is meant to attract love and positivity. Um, not sure how well that's actually going. And I also have some change. I think I have about three pound in change in there. Um, I actually cleared my purse out the other day. Okay, I, I have a coupon. <laughs> I have a coupon from Kellogg's. Oh, I have two. Um, I'm a coupon collector, apparently. In fact, no, that's a lie. I hate coupons, but these ones are free adult entry and two for one entry at places like Alton Towers and stuff. And I like theme parks. So yeah, I have that. Oh, I have another one. Apparently I have three cu coupons. Cool. Um, I have my counterpart driving license, which I'm probably not gonna show, but it's a piece of paper. Um, with like my address on it and you need that to rent cars and sometimes when I go abroad I I drive so yeah um, and then I have in here um, some cards yep we're gonna go through those I have a Universal Orlando card which was my entry when I went um, which I don't need but sentimental value um, I have a business card of mine which has no information on the back except a pin number to one of my bank cards so if you rob me you could probably steal all my money so please don't do that <laughs> I have a Waterstones um, card which you collect stamps I like collecting stamps as you've seen and when you get to 10 I think you get like a 10 pound voucher on books and you can never have enough for books um, I then have my hairdressers card which is the Zeus hair company with a date on the back which says August and I'm not actually sure if this is for last year or this year so I guess we'll find out um, next in here, I'm a massive card lover actually. Yeah, we're going through my purse as well. I have an Iceland bonus card, a Sephora card, um, I have my entrance to Disney World card, don't need that. Um, I have a casino card, I went once with my friend who likes betting, I don't, and I'm actually very bad at it, I lost £20 when I went, don't gamble, bad. But yeah, they gave me like a, a members card, so I just have that. I have a universal gift card which probably has no money on it and is kind of useless in England. Um, I then have in here my super drug card, my um, body shop card, my driver's license, my PayPal card, my bank card, national insurance, 
Nando's, um, What Are You, Bo Avenue, Game Points card, and I have a lot of cards, shit. Um, and I also have my Lush card. Um, and I think that is it. That is all that is in my purse and my bag. Um, it is now very much empty. So that's everything. Um, yeah, seriously though, girls, if you don't carry one of these in your bag, you should do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna tag a couple of people. I am going to tag my friend Laura Bubble, uh, the one that the USB stick belongs to. Um, I'm also going to tag some boys. I'm gonna tag Nikki and Sammy because I'm pretty sure that they have like little satchel bags. I'm pretty sure that they have some junk in there. And I'm also gonna tag my friend Gary C. He's gotta have a bag. I know that bags aren't just a lady thing. Like, it doesn't matter if it's your rucksack, just get on it. I wanna see what things you hide in your bag. I wanna see what's in a man's bag, actually. I feel as though that would be a lot more interesting. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, then hello. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see my new videos every week. And yeah, have an awesome week, guys. And I hope you are doing really well and life is good and you're happy. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.